Thank you all very, very much. You know, I come back to Paris today with two emotions. One of shame and one of frustration. Shame because the U.S. State Department enlisted myself and other Americans of prominence, attorney generals, judges, FBI directors, CIA directors, governors, heads of political parties, generals who served in Iraq and know the MEK well. They enlisted all of us in an effort to persuade Madame Rajavi and by persuading her to persuade the people at Ashraf to move to Camp Liberty. Our State Department told us that if we move to Liberty, if the 3400 moved to Liberty, number one, it would be a temporary transit location and people would be emigrated out of, out of Iraq in short order. Two, that they would be safe and secure. Three, that the people, well, we could leave behind people at Ashraf who would also be safe and secure, who could protect the property that had been gathered over the years. We did, and they did. All but 100 moved to Camp Liberty, based on what the State Department told us and what we told Madame Rajavi and what she told the folks at Ashraf. And the word that was given to us wasn't kept. And we conveyed a message that turned out not to be true. And in some ways, we are complicit in what has happened. And that shame is met with a sense of frustration. Because I have sat here in Paris and in Geneva and listened to wonderful speeches. So let's be clear what the record is here. Since the United States government the, turned over security in Iraq to the Iraqi government, since that fateful year in 2009, there have been four attacks on the original people of Ashraf. 2009, 2011, the spring of this year, the mortar attacks at Liberty, and of course the September 1st attack that took the 52 martyrs. Four attacks. And what happens after each and every one of these attacks is the same dance. There's an American song, it's the same old song. Well, that's exactly what happens after each of these attacks. The State Department condemns the attack. The United Nations condemns the attack. The EU condemns the attack. Everybody condemns the attack, and then they all call on the Iraqi government to investigate and find out who perpetrated the attack. Even when there's a video of the 2011 attack, which clearly shows the Iraqi federal police were the people who mowed down the people in Ashraf that day. And does anybody with half a brain think that the Maliki government wasn't responsible for the September 1st attack? Linda Chavez, who's much more diplomatic than I am, said that at least they were complicit. No, they weren't complicit. They were perpetrators. And there's an independent study coming out by a human rights group very, very soon that will show conclusively that the Maliki government was a perpetrator.